Emily, when are you gonna be posting a new video? Right now, bitch. <laughs> Hi, my name is Emily Olsh and welcome back to my channel. I am going to be talking about some stuff today like I always do because I talk about stuff. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing how I got into doing photography and why I do it and what motivated me to go down this path and all that shenanigans. Um, growing up, especially in high school, I never saw myself as the type of person to be doing photography and I was never interested in photography. I did not like photography. I took photography class in high school and I hated it. And I didn't like it because, I think mostly because everyone was doing it and I didn't really understand the art and all that stuff behind it. So I, I like knew the basics of photography, but I, I just didn't care about it. I didn't like it. I didn't want to do it. I mostly just like photo editing and that aspect, just like post production parts of it. And then finally, when I graduated high school, I wanted to make my YouTube videos better and all that stuff. And so I begged my dad to help me buy the Canon, <clears throat> what is wrong with my voice? The Canon, uh, T4i, this is, I wanted the T3i, but I decided to go, go big or go home, right? And it was a little, <clears throat> what is wrong with my voice? It was pretty expensive for its time when it came out, and um, it was about $1,000, and I was pretty stoked. And I mostly just used it to do YouTube videos and stuff, and... Um, I did, I never really took pictures with it until maybe a year or two after having it. And I would just kind of mess around, take photos of my friends, and kind of play around with the settings, and also, like, Photoshop, because I love Photoshop. I was like, okay, okay, I can kind of, I can see what's going on here. Then, uh, I started taking photos for friends just for, like, whatever, for free, um, if they wanted like family photos done, I would do it. If they wanted like maternity photos or whatever, I would do it um, just because I had all the tools. I already had Photoshop on my computer. I have a computer that doesn't crash all the time. Um, I basically had all the tools I needed as a photographer starting out. And I also had a backdrop and stuff, so that came in handy for some of the photo shoots I did before I started um, making people pay for what I do. It didn't really hit me until I started buying like all of my video equipment is like how much video and photo go hand in hand and how you can pretty much use the same equipment you have for video for photo like for lights and stuff so yeah it's cool so when I finally decided to start charging for my photography um, and when I was actually like more serious about it and was wanting to learn more about that realm of having a camera um, I, it was, it, it took me a long time to decide that I wanted to do that and, um, I didn't really have a motivation to do it until I started going to school because I noticed I was broke as f and, um, paying for school by yourself when you're 20 years old is kind of hard, especially when you only have a part-time job. Um, so I was like, damn, I guess I should start doing it <laughs> my where I was at with myself and my mental health and um, my confidence level and stuff it was really bad it was part of my healing process I feel like to start doing photography because that's kind of what helped me get to where I am today with my myself and my mental health and everything so yeah so yeah I started doing photography because I wanted to pay for school because I was fresh out of cash pretty much um, when I was done with my second quarter of college um, only doing part-time that's not full-time so yeah college is expensive and I finally got my first client by doing that and it was someone I didn't know who um, I photographed for the first time getting paid for it and that was a little nerve-wracking because <laughs> you kind of feel like I'm like putting my skills to the test and I'm putting being put out um, into the world just kind of like oh fuck this is really how it's gonna go and um, thank God my first experience was really pleasant um, I'm still friends with this person to this day and she does my hair now so thank you for that <laughs> that was about a year and a half ago uh, my first ever paid photo shoot and now I do, I do quite a bit. I, I'm not super busy with it, but it's also like enough 
to get me by, I guess. I still use it to uh, pay for college. Um, all the money that I make is uh, I either put it towards new equipment that I need or college. Um, so it's kind of nice that I have this little, this little side job, I guess. And I feel like a lot of the times I feel like I make more money from doing the thing I love more than like being a manager at a movie theater. <laughs> I think the best part about it is like, it's so rewarding um, and I can, I feel myself getting better and better with every shoot that I do and every shoot I do is a learning experience and um, just kind of building like that professional side and that professional like portfolio and um, being able to like essentially just kind of like run your own business sort of. Um, I've been learning a lot just by just by doing that and I've never seen myself as like a freelancer type of person. I always thought I would work for like a company or something and especially not being my own boss like that's pretty cool I guess. <laughs> uh, a lot of the photo shoots I do, a majority of them are weddings, um, engagement photos or newborn photos or maternity photos. I really really would like to get into more um, like senior portraits or like family photos and stuff because I feel like I don't do enough of those and also like animal photography I think that'd be really cool and also at some point I would like to do like merch um and just kind of like lifestyle like I don't know for like blogs or something I don't know um because I, I really do love taking portraits though like that's my number one thing is taking portraits and so yeah I definitely feel like I am a lot better than what I was a year and a half ago. Um, I feel a lot more confident in not only my, you know, video and photo capabilities, but just like myself. And a lot of it is referrals. I love referrals. You guys are awesome um, for doing that. You don't understand how much that helps me and how... Um, it makes me feel when someone messages me and says, hey, I heard from so-and-so, uh, you do photos, I want you to do a shoot for me. And that's like, like, thank you so much. And um, I feel like I wouldn't have half of my clients if it wasn't for referrals. And so, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's all I really have to say for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are not familiar with my YouTube channel, it's youtube.com slash Emily Olsh X5, I think. <laughs> um, I'll leave a link somewhere. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.